Thanks for watching. We'll see you again on Inside OC. Okay, now we yeah. can keep talking. So let's, right. let's uh, yeah, so uh, you were saying about Santa Ana. Yeah, well, uh, you know, uh, well, uh, Spurgeon was a guy that, you know, created Santa Ana, but right. he and McFadden were the two guys that really led the effort to get Orange County spun off from L.A. County. Now, people don't yeah. realize Orange County was part of L.A. County, and these yeah. two business leaders and yeah. uh, here thought they wanted it independent, yeah. and L.A. had a lot of power in the legislature, and they cut them off, but then they went to San Francisco and Sacramento and said, you don't want L.A. to have all that power, and convinced them to vote yeah. for them and spun off wow, Orange cool. County well, in yeah. 1889, that was. The great thing about that book, all these names like McFadden and Beckman and McGaw and yeah. all these names that you yeah. see on, on, on the street signs, you know, you're bringing these folks to life. Uh, you've got dozens of companies profiled in this mm -hmm. book, right? And, Actually, and 200 are 200 profi profiled. profiled. And how many, I, as far as the list you've got, you must yeah. have uh, thousands. Yeah, well, there's you know, a huge number. And, and there's 16 different industries, so it's a very diversified yeah. economy we have here, which is different than Silicon Valley is a one-trick pony. I mean, it's a good pony, but it's a one-trick pony. Yeah, where, and uh, very... uh, what are some of the industry sectors that we have here? Uh, well, uh, you know, we, we talked a little bit about the medical device and pharmaceutical right. side, but the whole healthcare services industry emerged here. Mm -hmm. The home healthcare industry was started in Orange County, mm -hmm. Caremark and Apria and mm -hmm. uh, uh, half a dozen other right. companies. They were started here. And you had a big hand in Apria. I had a big hand in uh, in almost all of yeah, these companies. Caramar, really. Apria, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, right. so that, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, real estate, mortgage finance. You know, this has been right. the epicenter of mortgage finance um, in uh, fashion uh, yeah. and the whole surfwear industry. I mean, there. Are, yeah. Eight companies that are over a billion dollars right. in Orange County. They're in the surfwear thing. Yeah. All started with Hobie Alter, who invented uh, the modern uh, surfboard. Right. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, franchise restaurants. Restaurants. I mean, th there is no place on the planet that has more national chains of of restaurants, and it really started, you know, uh, in the fifties when restaurants were just one offs everywhere. You know, and McDonald's started about that time in San Diego, but, uh, you know, Carl's Jr. started the same time as McDonald's. in and out started seven years before them, and then you had Taco Bell, which has 8,000 locations worldwide. No one ever thought you could sell Mexican food outside of Southern California and Arizona. You know, and here it yeah. goes. So, yeah. so it's and in amazing. fact, that Southern California lifestyle now with places like Wahoos and things like that, yeah. it's a brand. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is. Uh, it, it is. Um, something that we didn't have time to get to uh, is that interesting story about what might have been. Orange County came very close to becoming Silicon Valley. Explain yeah. that. Well, that's a really interesting story. And uh, 1955, uh, Arnold Beckman uh, was chairing a big award ceremony in L.A. Uh, honoring uh, two uh, distinguished scientists, one uh, William Shockley, the other uh, uh, Van de Graaff invented the vacuum tube. Uh, and, uh, and Shockley... Uh, said he was told Beckman he was interested in starting a company and would Beckman back him in it. This was before venture capital even existed. So Beckman and uh, Shockley got together in Newport Beach. Beckman had a little sailboat down on Newport Harbor. They spent a week talking uh, uh, to each other about this. And in the end, uh, uh, Beckman backed him as a subsidiary of Beckman Instruments in Brea. So that's Shockley Semiconductor, which was the very first semiconductor company in the world. Started in Brea here in Orange County. <laughs> and, uh, and he ended up uh, uh, hiring then some great talented people. Uh, 
uh, you know, uh, the, and he was, um, he went to Beckman at one point and said, you know, uh, my mother is elderly and not doing well. And um, I would like to relocate the company to Silicon Valley. So it wasn't called Silicon Valley at that time. No, it wasn't. Was it, like, it, it, I, Palo I wanted, Alto. Yeah, Palo Alto. Palo Alto is where it was. So he relocated the company up there, and uh, things didn't go well. So uh, some of his uh, key people spun off and formed Fairchild Semiconductor, which was the progenitor for all of the high tech companies in Silicon right. Valley. Became later, Intel, right? Later Intel. And uh, so. You know, a sick little, mother, a sick mother. A little was, quirk of fate was the Otherwise, reason it, it would have been decided, in Orange County. Because the technology, the semiconductor te technology is coming out of Caltech and Bell yeah. Labs. And that was how the whole thing got started. Obviously, uh, in your book, you also talk about Disneyland. We didn't even yeah. mention Disneyland. Yeah. We didn't mention uh, Sagerstrom or uh, or yeah. um, uh, the O'Neill uh, uh, yeah. family and their ranch. Uh, uh, there was so much to cover. But a any thoughts about Disneyland and, and its impact? Well, it was a, had a big impact. I mean, at the time Disneyland was formed, you know, the first freeway came to Orange County that same year. I mean, there were no freeways coming to Orange County, no connectivity. And actually, Walt Disney had uh, had toured Knott's Berry Farm with Walter Knott and saw what he was doing, and that gave him the idea for Disneyland. So, uh, so again, theme parks, yeah. theme parks were born here in Orange County. And fascinating. The threads uh, are, are just terrific. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you is what concerns you? Is Orange County going to be able to continue? We mentioned Broadcom in the show and Allergan, which were probably the two most iconic public companies mm -hmm. based in Orange yep. County, the, the richest, the most successful. They are both been acquired. Yep. Uh, Allergan, it looks like they are keeping a lot here. Broadcom, it almost looks like a slash and burn what's going on mm -hmm. as far as yeah. moving things elsewhere and that sort of thing, cutting the workforce. Is that a sign of some kind of a downward uh, uh, trend for Orange County? What's your, how do you feel well, about all that's that? That's interesting. And, and Ingram Micro is being acquired by a Chinese company. So I uh, have a number of these big companies that are going through those transitions. Uh, in writing the book and through my personal knowledge, the one thing I see is this enormous, enormous groundswell of new companies coming up. I mean, amazing companies that are, are in the still nascent stage, but are rising stars, and some are in midlife, you know, but there is a lot of fuel there that will be the, you know, the next leadership and the next economic engine to help drive the county. I'm, I'm very optimistic that, you know, this is no big setback. As a matter of fact, when you get these companies acquired, some of the key people move over and they start other companies. So, you know, no one wants to leave Orange County. If, if you have lived here, you know, no way am I going to relocate to some other place. <laughs> right, right.